Ever wondered about the chemical reactions within our body? Like, what is the thing responsible for that? Well, you may be referring to the job of enzymes within our bodies. Did you even know that enzymes are also used in the medical field? Particular proteins such as enzymes have the ability to accelerate chemical reactions by serving as catalysts. They may be found everywhere, from the ocean bottom to your garden and even inside our own bodies if we look hard enough. Enzymes are produced by living organisms such as bacteria and molds for human consumption. Afterward, they retain their original state and function as biological catalysts, speeding up the pace of chemical change without using a lot of energy in the process. The use of enzymes may aid in the diagnosis of some diseases. Many enzymes may be found in blood serum. However, certain enzymes can only be found in the cells of specific organs and tissues and are not found in the bloodstream as a whole, such as those found in the liver. When the concentrations of these enzymes in the blood increase, it indicates that tissue damage has occurred in an organ which may result in the spilling of their cellular contents into the circulation system. Blood serum enzyme activity tests may be used to identify a wide range of illnesses. The use of enzymes may aid in the treatment of many diseases. In the treatment of heart attacks, the discovery of tissue plasminogen activator or TPA which activates the enzyme plasminogen, represents a major step forward. When an enzyme is activated, it breaks a cardiac blood clot and in most cases provides immediate relief. Some of the most common examples of blood enzymes assays that are used in the medical field are lactate dehydrogenase, also known as LDH, the CPK or the creatine phosphokinase, and the aspartate transaminase, which is also abbreviated as AST. Let's discuss them one by one. Fatty liver, heart failure, and osteoarthritis are some diseases that can be detected through the help of enzymes. Lactate dehydrogenase is an enzyme that can be found in nearly all the body cells and is involved in the production of energy. The highest concentrations of LD can be found in the heart and liver cells, as well as the muscles, kidneys, lungs, and blood cells, among other issues. Tissue injury or illness is typically indicated by elevated LDH levels. Anemia is a condition that results in elevated LDH levels. While this may also indicate an irritable bowel syndrome or the entire ailment of the liver. On the same note, muscular dystrophy may be detected with a creatine phosphokinase test, which is the most accurate technique currently available. When CPK levels are high, muscle illness manifests itself. Because of the low concentration of CPK in red blood cells, hemolysis has little effect on the levels of CPK in the blood. CPK is unaffected by the liver injury in contrast to the other enzymes studied. CPK levels that are higher than usual suggest that the enzyme is escaping from muscle cells and entering the circulation. Obviously, as the disease develops, this change becomes more noticeable. Aspartate aminotransferase is an enzyme that breaks down aspartate. Enzymes, which are proteins with specific activities in the body, are required for nearly all of the body's processes. In the liver, the enzyme AST is most often seen, although it may be identified in a broad range of other organs and tissues throughout the body as well. When cells are killed, AST is released into the bloodstream and circulates. For another way of saying it, high levels of AST found in a blood sample may indicate that something is amiss with the patient. Despite the fact that AST is a standalone test, it is often included in a panel of tests that also contains other enzymes, such as a liver panel or a metabolic panel that is brought in a scope and includes many enzymes. When used in combination with other enzymes, an AST test may aid in the detection of liver disease and other health issues. Another medical use of enzymes is in clinical laboratory chemical analysis. For example, the enzyme urease, which is according to Levin in 1994, is particularly found in plants and bacteria, 
but not found in mammals, breaks down urea into ammonia and carbamic acid, which further combines with water to produce carbonic acid in forming added ammonia. We know that urea is released in urine, but because it's not very poisonous at low concentrations, it is still found in cells all over the body system, and since it contains nitrogen, multiple pathogens use it as nitrogen source and break it down with the help of urease. Now coming back, the conversion to ammonia and carbonic acid is significantly useful for several bacteria, like Helicobacter pylori, which is inhabiting the stomach and hence must deal with highly acidic conditions. Quite unsurprisingly, in his article The Specific Enzyme, Gold in 2014 asserted that urease is also essential for bacteria that infiltrate the urinary tract, including proteins such as Proteus and Klebsiella. Carbonic acid and ammonia can bond with minerals like magnesium and calcium within this bacteria to produce infection stones, which are rigid coverings that encircle and preserve the bacteria. Knowing that there is limited direct testing for the measurement of urea in the blood, if the urea in the blood is converted to ammonia, the ammonia will thereby be an indicator for urea. One common test on this is the blood urea nitrogen or BUN test. According to Stang in 2018, BUN test is used to determine how well your kidneys are working. It does this by measuring the amount of urea nitrogen in the blood. BUN levels tend to increase when the kidneys or liver are damaged. And knowing that too much urea nitrogen in the blood can be a sign of kidney or liver problems, this medical testing is definitely significant. Without a doubt, enzyme plays an important role in the medical field, be it the determination of diseases or something else. The following are the references used in the presentation. Once again, we are the group 7 and we hope that you have learned something from us. Thank you and stay safe.